in today's lesson we're going to have a look at expressing one number as a percentage of another number. So to do this, first thing you're going to do is you're going to write the numbers as a fraction and then after we've done that we can then convert the fraction to a percentage. So two examples on the screen here. First one, write down 8 as a percentage of 20. So like I said, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to write it as a fraction. So that's 8 out of 20. Percentages are out of 100. Percentage means out of 100. So I think I'll use um, equivalent fractions now to convert this into a percentage. So I'm going to multiply the denominator of the fraction by 5. 20 times 5 will give me 100. And I also have to do the same to the top. So multiplying the 8 by 5 gives me 40. 8 over 20, 8 to 20 is the same as 40 hundredths. Percentage means out of 100, so 40 out of 100 is 40%. So 8 as a percentage of 20 is 40%. And the second example, 40 as a percentage of 200. So writing it first of all as a fraction, 40 out of 200. Now again we will use equivalent fractions. We want the denominator to be 100 so this time I'm going to have to divide the denominator by 2 or halve it. Whatever we do to the bottom remember we also have to do to the top. So 40 divided by 2 or half of 40 gives me 20. 20 out of 100 is 20%. So 40 as a percentage of 200 is 20%. Wordy question now to have a little look at. Same principles apply, however. Suppose there are 25 cars in this car, car park. Nine of the cars were made in Japan. What percentage of the cars were made in Japan? As a fraction to begin then, it's nine out of the 25 cars were made in Japan. And we want to change that to a percentage. So again, using our equivalent fractions, we're multiplying the denominator of the fraction by 4. 25 times 4 is 100. Doing the same then to the top of the fraction, multiplying it by 4. 9 times 4 is 36. 36 out of 100 is 36%. So 36% of the cars were made in Japan. And the next question, another wordy one. In a survey, 150 people were asked about smoking. 45 people said they smoke. The rest of the people said they do not smoke. What percentage of the people said they do not smoke? So be careful here. It is in, in italics, but it's not. You've got to work out what percentage said they do not smoke. So there was 150 people in total in the survey. And 45 of those said they smoke. So if we subtract those values, we'll find the number of people who said they don't smoke. So 150 take away the 45 leaves you with 105. So 105 people said they do not smoke. Okay, 45 people said they smoke. The remaining people would not smoke. But we need to give this as a percentage. So we're going to have... 105 out of the 150 people in the survey. Now equivalent fractions we can use to change this to a percentage. So if we divide the denominator by 3, it means that we're going to have a denominator here of 50. 150 divided by 3 is 50. Doing the same to the numerator then, 105 divided by 3 is going to give you 35. So that's 35 out of 50, but if we want it as a percentage, we want it out of 100. So I'm going to now double the denominator and double the numerator. 70 out of 100, that's 70% of the people said that they do not smoke. Same type of question now, but presented in a slightly different way. We've got a table, so this table shows the number of cars 
of each colour in a car park. You can see here that we've got 60 cars in total in the car park. It says two questions at the bottom. What percentage of the total number of cars were yellow? So writing as a fraction to begin, we've got 15 of the cars were yellow. So that's 15 out of 60. Now 60 isn't a factor of um, 100. But we can simplify this fraction. So if we divide by 15, because 15 goes into both the numerator and the denominator of the fraction. So how many 15s in 15 on top is 1? How many 15s in 60? That's 4. So a quarter of the cars were yellow, but we need it as a percentage. So we can just, well, it's a common one. This is, you probably know it's 25%. Um, but if you want to go through the process of why it's 25%, percentages are out of 100, so it's 4 times 25 gives you 100. Doing the same to the numerator, 1 times 25 is 25. 25 out of 100 then is 25%. And then green cars, that's 6 out of 60. Again, simplifying the fraction, I will divide numerator and denominator by 6. How many 6 in 6 is 1? How many 6s are there in 60? There's 10. So that's 1 tenth. Some of you might know 1 tenth as a percentage, but if we just go through the workings, so we want it out of 100. So I've multiplied the denominator by 10, multiplying the numerator also by 10. 10 out of 100, that's 10%. So 10% of the cars were green. Now, there can be situations sometimes, however, where the units given on the numbers in the question are different. Um, we then need to change to a common unit. Both values would have to be written with the same unit. So if we have a little look at this question here, it's, you can see it's 60 pence as a percentage of two pounds. So one of the values is in pence, one of the values is in pounds, we're going to need to change one of them. Now, I would always suggest you go for the smaller unit, because if you go to the larger unit, you're going to have decimal values. Um, and to try and avoid that, let's go to the smaller unit. So the smaller unit here being pence, pence is smaller than pounds. So I will keep 60 pence as it is, but the two pounds I'm going to change to pence, so that's going to be 200 pence, all right? Two pounds, 200 pence. To change pounds into pence, right? Pounds to pence, we need to multiply by 100. So now we can go ahead and write our fraction because the units are exactly the same. So it's going to be 60 out of 200. Again, equivalent fractions, we want it as a percentage. So we're an equivalent fraction out of 100. So I've divided the denominator by 2. Divide the numerator by 2 as well. 60 divided by 2 is 30. 30 out of 100 is 30%. Let's have a little look at another one of those. So 65 centimetres as a percentage of 2 metres. So the smaller unit here is centimetres. So I'll keep 65 centimetres here. 2 metres is 200 centimetres. Remember, every 1 metre is 100 centimetres. So change metres into centimetres and times by 100. Fraction first then, 65 out of 200. Again, writing it with a denominator of 100. Dividing, numerator and denominator by 2. So half of 65 is going to give you 32.5. So 32.5 out of 100 is 32.5 or 32.5 percent. Um, and the next question, the last one, 400 grams is a percentage of 2.5 or 2.5 kilograms. Grams is the smaller unit, so we've got 400 grams here, and 2.5 kilograms is 2,500 grams. Remember, one kilogram is 1,000 grams. Kilo means 1,000. 
So to go from kilograms to grams, we multiply by a thousand. Writing our fraction, it's 400 out of 2,500. I think I'm going to simplify it straight away, divide the numerator and denominator by 10. So I cancel a zero off the numerator and denominator, so I've now got 40 over 250. Could have actually looking at it now, divide the numerator and denominator by 100 would make more sense. So if I cancel another zero, so I've divided the numerator and the denominator now by 100, which leaves me with 4 25ths, 4 over 25. And an equivalent fraction out of 100, I'm going to multiply the denominator by 4. I'm also going to multiply the numerator by 4. 4 times 4 is 16. 16 out of 100 is 16%.